Welcome back to Nerd Wars, and you guessed it, Nerdrotic is under attack by some crazy no-name SJW who just put out an absolutely unhinged thread on Twitter, and it's gone mega viral. Let's look at it and point and laugh. From Grayson, Minute Nerd News, who has now hit a thousand followers, congrats. Nerdrotic is a piece of sh that we've allowed to operate amongst us for far too long. They're ready to gatekeep Gary. All right, let's go ahead and look at the bio. First thing, he slash him. Ends with Free Palestine. All right, this should be good. 3.7 million views. Before I focus my attention solely on this garbage, let us first focus our attention on the explanation of what it is he and his little grifter friends do. Explained by one of them. Oh, what, by Jeremy? Yeah. <laughs> So basically just Jeremy embracing his grifterness, which for us, we understand what he means. For the crazies, obviously it's a, we got him, we got him sort of moment. That's right, folks. They sell you outrage and anger like I'm currently doing right now in this thread. This is what they do. They make mountains out of molehills to capitalize on an insignificant frustration their target demographic might be feeling and heighten the issue rather than tame it. Hmm. Weird, how has the MCU been doing? Pre Deadpool and Wolverine. Hmm? Doing well? No? Mountains out of molehills? How did they predict all this was coming? Hmm. They want to heighten the issue rather than tame it. What? Daddy chill? I don't, what, what were they supposed to, what are they, what? Tame it? You literally just made a giant thread to heighten the issue rather than tame it. And as always, they show off all the thumbnails. Excellent promotion. No, this won't be news to you. I realize that. Nerdrotic has an obsession with the concept that anyone who isn't straight, white, or male might make an appearance or, God forbid, lead a solo project. Weird. Deadpool and Wolverine came out and we might hit like a billion and a half dollars. I think Gary might be onto something. How did the Marvels do? Remind me. Oh, it didn't even hit 200 mil? Oh. Oh, maybe Gary's onto something. He's obsessed. But of course he has praise for the MCU, but only when it involves movies where the main protagonist is white, male, and straight. Well, then it's not MCU. Marvel has only experienced one failure in its entire history is lackluster, as some of the box office was in phase four, with two movies crossing a billion. So this person has no idea how box office and budgets work. You have to cut the box office in half at least, and then the budget you have to basically double for marketing. If you don't count those, they made lots of money if you don't understand how it works at all. He's just generally a racist. So much so that at this point, he should honestly just come out and admit that he's a white supreme pizza. Really? The guy who has a quarter black person working for him and two Asians working for him. It's weird. Never mind his racially charged comments about Echo, his hilarious jokes about Echo. Check this comment out that he jokes won't make it in. Spoiler, it made it in. <laughs> yes, to piss you off. You're just a little boy with a camera and a microphone and a million subscribers. Take that away and what are you? Someone with a million subscribers who could go back to working in the automotive industry if he needed? Racist, homotransphobic, and misogynist. <laughs> talk about it. He said, let's talk about it. He's such a problematic person, copyright, that his whereabouts on Jan 6 could be brought into question and I bet you wouldn't blink a Fucking I. This Elon Musk nutsack liquor interacts with people currently advocating for a civil war if the election is once again stolen at three in the morning out of nowhere when all of a sudden 99% to 100% of the votes go for one candidate. It's so weird. This guy is stuck in a never ending circle jerk <laughs> that got him to a million subscribers, literally built on the back of shitting on suppressed voices and oppressed minorities. The only oppressed group in this country is straight white men like Gary. If it's not a straight white man, he don't want it. Well, neither does the audience apparently. In fact, he'll dedicate his time to shitting on it for two weeks and gaining a million and subscribers and lots of money in the process because people like that and support it and everything he said has ended up coming true and now they're having to try to unfuck everything i'll leave this thread off with this and it's directly at you nerdrotic he doesn't he doesn't end it here sorry he slash him doesn't end it here joking about or attempting to further suppress an already suppressed voice is a fucking disgusting way to spend your free time is he talking about how x-ray girl is not allowed to talk that's an important rule you are a grifter. It's all you ever will be. He's lots of things. He's had an interesting life. Such an interesting life. He's writing a book about it. 
you may have sobered up, and I've seen firsthand how difficult that is because I hang out with a bunch of druggies and losers, and must have been to you. See, I'm totally, we're, we're on the same side, guys. But you've relapsed in addiction. You're addicted to hatred and negativity. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're addicted to the engagement it brings that furthers your hatred and negativity. Well, you got 3.7 million views on this. I wonder if you're going to keep going. Hmm. And what's worse, you know what you're doing. Getting a million subs and employing lots of people because you're so successful. Which means you know the harm it causes, not just on the people you're shitting on, but the fandom as a whole. He gets like $100 super chats to say, that say, I thought I was going crazy and then I found you guys and I actually realized I'm not the crazy one. Thank you for doing this. I felt so alone. Yeah, no, he's bringing people together. What the 199 and the fellowship have done is amazing. What they've done for me is amazing. They, they've turned this into my job. As me and my co-hosts have discovered recently, we have an insanely diverse chat. We just found out that one of our chatters was a dwarf. We're the ones that have to deal with your dumbass fans fucking up our vibe. Well, you guys have fucked up the entire like nerd entertainment sphere. Not just movies and TV shows, shows now, but also video games. You fucked up the vibe. We are saying, let's unfuck it. And you don't like that because you want it destroyed because you people hate us, you hate America, you hate the West, you hate fun, you hate happiness, you want to destroy everything so we can get put into a global communist sci-fi dystopia. And we can't have that unless everything's destroyed first. So fuck your vibe of absolute satanic destruction. You are filth. If I saw you in real life, I'd spit at your feet. <sighs> I genuinely hope you educate yourself. If not, we're going to put you in a camp to educate you. Because the way I see it currently, you aren't worth the cloud space they use to keep your videos up. He makes YouTube so much money. This comment alone encapsulates how garbage you are. Fuck you. Let's see how hilarious it is. After having reservations about Echo, Disney Marvel's moving forward with their big gamble, hashtag Echo. It's not Gary's fault that they had Kingpin invite her to come meet him at the Indian Conceito. Yes, this isn't even the worst of it. I just shared what's actually fucking digestible. Well, let's see let's see the worst of it. I'd love to, please. I, I need some more clips. PPS, had to hide a bunch of checkmark replies because they were stacking on top of the thread itself. Yeah, it's still happening because you're getting BTFO'd. So no, they haven't been hidden to not be seen. They've been hidden so that thread can be seen. It's still not working because you're getting BTFO'd, bro. 3.7 million, very, very viral. Is it because people are on your side? <laughs> let's look at it. Oh, look, the very first comment, pronouns in the bio, every time. Oh, this must have hurt him. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Oh no, he probably just had an aneurysm. You could have saved yourself a lot of time and just posted this gif. Accurate. The moral high ground you're on is you say you'll spit on someone for having a different opinion than you. What an insane takeaway from all this for accurately pointing out what I said. Uh, some angry beaver guy. Yeah, he's a real monster. He looks like a monster. John F. Trent, how much did Disney pay you? Mags, stop it. Get some help. Lethal the lightning, of course. Why don't you get? From Tom Connors, haters gonna hate. At least he's just hating on shows you're making up personal. That's on you, queerdo. Drinker says, in other words, you hate that Gary doesn't pretend to like the things you pretend to like. He articulates why in a funny and insightful way. Something this guy definitely, or sorry, he slash him definitely couldn't do. And has achieved massive success doing it. Meanwhile, you're left languishing in insignificance. This entire thread reeks of jealousy and resentment. Accurate, 100% accurate. They hate us because they ain't us. Old George, did mommy not breastfeed you today in the basement? George, yet another member of chat that ended up getting big, turned it into his job. It's pretty amazing what our chats can do. Turns out we have a lot of really good, really supportive, generous, good people in it. Hopefully this he slash him can find people like that someday. Gabe El Taib, who just had the meetup that had all these people there. I had a great time hosting Nerdrotic and some other great folks at my party and booth at Comic-Con. Gary is a great guy. He's an advocate for fans and the pop culture they cherish. My advice, Grayson, do a push-up. You sound very low T. Wow, this white supreme pizza sure is around a lot of diversity. That's strange. Dan Vask, your test came back. Oh, my condolences, he slash him. My girl Steph just, you know, puts it perfectly in one image. And Jonas J. Campbell puts it perfectly. How dare you mock my homosexual friend, Nerd Roddy, you bigot. So what do you think of this? Should Gary just go ahead and delete his channel? I mean, he's got nothing to fall back on other than the tons of things he could fall back on. Or do you support him? If you do, hit that thumbs up and the subscribe. My channel is under attack. I wish someone would make a mega viral thread about me trying to cancel me. Oh no, how terrible. Please don't do that.
Thanks for watching and please follow the algorithm on your way out and support the channel by becoming a YouTube member.